Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, I have a new backdrop. I redid the coffee bar for the summer, and if you missed that video, I will link that down in the description box below, so make sure to go check that out after this video. Now today I actually have a Dollar Tree project for you, one that's been in my head for quite a while now, so I'm finally bringing it to life and sharing it with you all. We're gonna be creating some antique looking hand bells, which will be a beautiful accessory to add to your home's farmhouse style decor. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and now to look at the supplies I'll be using for this hand bell project. And the main item I'm using are these plastic flower pots, which are from the Dollar Tree. So these came in a set of three, which is a great bargain to get three flower pots for only a dollar. And then these items over here are from Hobby Lobby. You'll need one of these candlesticks. It is a half inch hole. There's five in here, but we're only gonna need one. You'll also need one of these finials. These are um, tenon, tenon, so they have these little um, end pieces here. Those are the ones that you'll need. I also have some faux leather. This is in like a brown color. The roll was $4.99, but I got it when it was half off, so a really good bargain on that. And then you'll also need a wood bead. This was in my stash, so I'm not exactly sure on the size of it. Maybe about an inch, an inch size bead. Um, but you'll need a wooden bead. And then moving over here, you'll need some scissors. I have my Gorilla Glue and hot glue gun. And then I have two kinds of spray paint here. I have my trusty oil rubbed bronze. And then this is Color Shots Bronzer. It's a little bit lighter of a color. so. This is kind of going to be a nice contrast. This will give our bells sort of that antique brassy look, whereas this will give it more of the black hammered metal look. And then this is just something I grabbed that I had on hand. It's Antiquing Wax by Waverly. And I thought I might need that to sort of add some aging to the bells so that I just have it on hand. We'll see if I actually use it or not. So that's all we need. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my flower pots outside. I'm gonna spray those with this bronzer. And then I'm going to take out my wood pieces. So one of these, one of these, and my wood bead. And I'm going to spray those with my oil rubbed bronze. All right, so we're gonna work on the one with the finials first. And basically all I have to do is flip this one like this, put this finial on top of the candlestick, glue them together, and then put this whole thing on top of the flower pot like this. And then we have a handbell, how cute is that? Um, the one thing I do want to do is I'm, I grab my uh, black chalk paint out just so I can take my finger and run it and rub some on there to sort of age it a little bit. The antique wax is brown so it's going to blend too much with this so I'm going to age it with some black instead.
All right, so here's the first bow. I just took that chalk paint and buffed it in with my finger. I sort of did some darker spots and some lighter spots, but I pretty well did go around the whole thing just to darken it up a little bit, give it more of an antique kind of look. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to the next bell. And like I showed you earlier, I spray painted this with that bronzer by Color Shot, but now that I'm looking at it with the faux leather that I bought that's brown, I think it blends too much. So I'm actually gonna take this back outside and spray it with the oil rubbed bronze instead. That way I'll get a nice contrast between the brown leather and the hammered metal look. And it'll also give me a completely different look than the first bell. And then I have sort of some different options for decor um, so they don't look so matchy matchy. All right, so I brought it back inside and I'm loving this a lot more with that leather. So I'm gonna take my drill and this is a 3 8 inch drill bit and I'm gonna just drill right through the bottom here, right in the center. All right, so now I wanna make sort of a looped handle. So I want this folded over and I want it to be able to go through this hole down here and then I'm going to secure it to the underside with some hot glue. And I'd really like for it to go through this bead as well, just to give it a little bit more of some interest and it'll cover up that hole too. Um, but I'm not sure that two layers of that leather will fit through my bead here. So I actually think I may cut the bottom down. I'll show you as I go along and make the bottom um, thinner so it will go through the holes, but the top will be pretty much the same width. So let me go ahead and start working on this and I'll show you as I go. All right, so here's the piece of leather I cut. It is right at 12 inches long, and then I folded it in half and cut these little tabs. So these are about half, these are about half an inch wide, and this is about an inch and a half long. And then I didn't want it to look so neat and perfect, like it had just come off the roll and was straight. So I cut down these sides with my scissors. So this is now about an inch and a half wide. Um, you know, it's not perfect. I didn't want it to look perfect. Um, so basically it's right at about an inch and a half wide. And now I'm going to fold these in half and feed them through the hole in my bead. So if you're looking for beads, uh, you want one that has a pretty good sized hole in it because you're going to be feeding this thick leather through it. And then I'm going to feed the leather through this hole and then the bead will sit on top and the leather will come out of there. And like I said, I'm just going to pull these off to the side underneath here and hot glue them. That will secure the strap on top. All right, here's a close-up look of the inside. I just pulled those tails 
uh, back and glue them to place. And now I'm going to work on this strap up here. Let me see if I can set this so you can see better. I don't really like that it has like this flat look since we had to cut it. So I'm just going to fold these corners back to the inside and glue those. And then it'll have more of a tapered look and it'll look more like all of this leather fit down into there. Alright, so there's that, and now I am going to take my uh, Waverly wax or antiquing wax that is brown and rub it onto here just to give it some more depth. Thank you all so much for joining me for this fun tutorial. It turned out really even better than I could expect and I'll probably be using them a lot. You'll see them especially over on my Instagram page. If you're not following me there, you can find me at The Daily DIYer and I'll link that down in the description box below as well. I hope that this tutorial inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. That helps out my channel so very much. And I hope you'll also hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.